Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and in this video, I want to show you how you can add a 3D model to your website using Spline. And you can see here, this is one example, but you can get so creative, it's crazy. So let's get started. Here you can see I have a very, very simple page. Um, it's just text and uh, I just added some CSS. And my goal is to do what you just saw. I want to add that weird eye that I created and it will follow the cursor and that's all I want. And it seems like it's very complicated, but it's not. So we're gonna be using Spline. Um, it's a 3D modeling and animation software, but it has a bunch of options, things that you can do on the websites. Uh, for example, I just model it this kind of eye and uh, it's made of two spheres. It has a floor and I added like a light and all I did was there is an event here and it says, look at the cursor. And then you can add some different uh, values depending on what you want. You want it slower, faster, whatever, but that's it. And it's done. I can click play here. Let me just put it up here the way we can see it better. And that's how it works, look. It's following the cursor. There's a little light that I added. I think it looks very cool, right? Something so simple, but it looks cool. So now my goal is to add this to my next JS website. So let me put this down here. And the first thing we need to do is install the spline package. That way we can use it in our website. And let's go here. this is how the website looks right now. So right now, I'm gonna install the, the uh, spline package. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So I'm gonna do npm install and spline tool react dash spline. I'm gonna add this to the description of the video so you can go there. Let's hit enter. All right, so now that we have that package, I'm gonna go here. This is my page. This is the one that has this text here. I'm gonna scroll all the way up and here I'm gonna import that package. So I'm gonna do import and I'm gonna do spline from and you can see here giving you options. So it's gonna be spline to react spline. All right, so now that we have that ready to use, I can easily scroll down and we can add it anywhere we want. So using this spline here, I can go, let's say down here and I'm gonna do spline scene equals, let's close this component, this spline component right here. And the scene is gonna be a URL that the spline app will give you. So let's go back to the spline app and they have like an export button. So I'm gonna click that export button and you can choose different things. So you can do public URL, like a viewer. So what I want is the code and you can see that I can choose React, 3.js, vanilla JavaScript, etc. So I'm, I'm working with React right now. So that's all I need. They give you an example code right here. You can see it like in sports spline. This is exactly what we did already and then you can add the component, right? So all I need is the URL and here it is. I can just copy and paste it right here. And I'm going to save it. Let's see if that works. npm run dev. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page. And you can see that the eye is already here. Of course, it's weird. It's kind of taking some space here. So the goal is instead of having it on the side, I wanted to have it in like the whole background of the website. So it's going to cover all this section, right? But you can see that already the 3D model and is following the cursors is right there. So now we just need to fix it where we want it and all that. So let's make sure that 
we add that. If I go to my CSS, I have an I class right here and it says position absolute with 100%, height 100%, which is gonna take the whole screen and it's gonna be in position absolute. Just, that's what I want, that's totally fine. Let's see if that works. So all I have to do here is I'm gonna wrap it in a diff with a class and here we're gonna do styles dot i. Okay, let's close that. Let's put that div here and we're gonna wrap that. Let's save it. All right, and let's see how that looks. Let's open this a little bit bigger and look at this, look at this. It's pretty cool, huh? It's very nice. Now, we can get more creative. Um, this is just like a very basic example, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is using Spline. Um, I know a lot of people use 3JS and it's because you have more options. You can, you can do more complicated things with it. But for simple things, you can use Spline. And actually you can do very complicated things, but here you can see one of the results and we did it very quickly. That's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Day. Bye bye.